Hello guys, welcome, 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 welcome back to the channel. Of course, I'm sitting in my front room looking at this uh, big old picture up here. That's that big old, big old, big old, big old picture up here. Yeah, y'all, I'm sitting in the front room just chilling. I just had my lunch and I had a big tumbler of water uh, full as a tick on a dog and... Um, I'm about to go see some pop a movie in, sit in my recliner chair, sit back, lay back, and relax. What are you guys doing today, yum yums? I hope that all is well with all my yum yums and everybody else all over the world. Well, guys, clearly I came in with a topic today. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? Now my damn phone rings, my other phone rings in my in my book bag on the table. Well, you're going to ring, bro, because I'm not getting up answering it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway, guys. Let's talk a little bit. What do you guys think about the situation with Adrian and Greg? Ooh, Greg. Oh, Greg. Did Adriana turn you out with that dutra? I said, did Adrian, Adrian Slave Variety slash Eureka slash Nikki turn you out with that dutra? Oh, my, 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 brother. She must have cleaned up all around the webs and the, and the mice droppings and all the things and the things of the things. Mm -hmm. Greg got up from the chair. He said, let me go over here. They said, look at this beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. Guys, you know how men talk. <coughs> you know how men talk when they want some trutra, right? You know how they talk when they want some kudina, that kupanchi. When they want some of that throw throw, you know how they talk when they try to manipulate that mind and and you know swindle you in and tell you how good you look and how amazing you are and you know they you know that's my babe and that's my chick and I love her and Greg got up and he walks over to her and said, "Let me go over here and feed my babe." Gregory, yeah, you think somebody decrease? You think somebody okay? You think somebody don't know? You were trying to get some of that coupon chick. Mm -hmm. You just couldn't keep them hands to your damn self. Because you were just all over me. The age of slavery right to Sharika slash Nikki. Nikki must have turned you out with that through trial. Did she turn you out with that through trial? You know, she said that you know you, you like to go down in the kitchen and clean up. You wanted to go in that kitchen, didn't you, Greg? You wanted to go in there and you wanted to clean the things and the things and the things and the things. Mm -hmm. What, well, Greg, did you get in there and clean the things and the things and the things and the things? Because clearly, you would try real damn hard. Well, basically, uh, Sharika says that uh, you spent the whole day with her. How was, how, oh my, how amazing was that? You were really trying. You were really persistent on getting some of that through thrive, that kudina, that throw throw. Mm -hmm. Did you get it, Gregory? I'm sure you probably did. Uh. But to guess what? You have to pay a price for that, brother. Because Adrian ain't going to give up no through thra for nothing, bro. You're going you, you gonna to give up something if you're going to get Adrian Slave Variety slash Sharika slash Nikki through thra. Uh -huh. Well, basically, she says she doesn't need a man for any damn thing. Well, you know, let me tell you something. Do you think that, uh, hmm. Do you really think that she loves you? Do you think that she's inclined with you? Do you really think that she wants you to be her husband? Hell to the mother flipping no. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Because if you don't know, Mr. Greg, <laughs> Gregory, I'm going to call you. Mm -mm. Don't, be a, don't be a fool. Don't fall into a trap that you may regret in the end. Because uh, if you just say Variety Sharika slash Nikki... Nikki says that Ken is coming over in October to visit her. Now, as Adrian said... <clears throat> she ain't giving up that through trial, but you already gave the through trial up to the man, eh? You let the man go down in that kitchen and clean out the kitchen, girl. You let him go slap la la there. You know, you know, you know, you, you know, you know how you know we let the men go down there and clean that kitchen up and, and, and you know, go in that coupon chain and just, just, you know, sop it, flip it, rub it down, lick it, rub it, all the things and the things and the things. Yeah, you did. You told us that the Greg went down there and he, he he was um, cleaning out that coupon. 
That way you told us, Adrian. You told us that the man was down there and the man was cleaning out the coutine, the coupage, the trotrage. Yeah, you did. You told us that now. And now it's a different scenario. Now you said that the man that um, Gregory, you know, he was eating your salmon fish and whatever the other fish you fixed. And he said it was a good and amazing and the Brussels sprouts. And he likes his Brussels sprouts kind of burnt a little bit. And you did it exactly the way he wanted it to be done. And, hmm, hmm. Okay. And then he was telling you how amazing and how beautiful you was. First and foremost, he was trying to embarrass you to see how your reaction was going to be. First and foremost, he was trying to make you blush to see how um, your reaction would be, you know. But we all know, as women, we knew what Greg was aiming and pushing for. Greg wanted some of that throat it. That's what he wanted. He wanted some of that coutine that throat it. That's what Greg wanted. He wanted to get down there in that Shanika. He wanted to get some of that Shanika, honey. He was trembling. He, he was trembling in that damn draw. He wanted some of that Shanika too bad. Go back. Crazy, because he wants some of that shanika, that kudina, the trotra. And then he was with you the whole course of the day. You guys, you said, Adrian, you said, you know, after dinner, let's go out for a nice ride, night riding. And, you know, this is what couples like to do. You know, if you're a couple, this is what couples like to do. They like to go out and, you know, ride around a little bit, have a little drink, cocktail drink when they come back and, and then get into the things and the things and the things. So the things. Mm -hmm. When you came back, I think you did a second video with Gregory sitting up under the, up under the um, the thing there that you have in your front room hanging down, mm -hmm. and he couldn't keep his hands off of you, Adrian. You know what that man wanted, Adrian. That man wanted some of that cutina, that tutrati, that trotro, that You know, he wanted some of that cupanchi. And get what, y'all? Get what? I can bet you my bottom dollar, Adrian gave some of that coutine, that coupanchi, that throw throw. She gave him some of that throw throw. But get me, let me tell you now, he ain't get that throw shit for nothing. He ain't get it for free. He paid a valuable price for that tati, that tukuna, that coutine, that throw shit, that coupanchi. He paid a price for that coupanchi. Mm -hmm. Trust and believe that. Now she says that, uh, I don't trust anybody. I just had this thing that I just don't trust anybody. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. You you, you shouldn't have to um, put trust in everybody because you don't really know who to trust in this world. And these times and, and days, you know, in life, you don't know who to trust. You, you, I get that. I truly get that, Adrian. I really get that, that you cannot trust anybody. It could be a form of fashion that... Mr. Gregory was trying to talk about him some coupanchi, some throws that coutine, coupanchi, coupanchi, coupanchi. He wanted some of that coupanchi. And that, that damn mice, that coupanchi was going to snap it, that damn ding a ling off. And he go down there and he get that coupanchi. He was going to, that damn mice trap was going to snap it right off. He was going to bite it right off. He gave him some of that tortate. He wanted that coupanchi. Hey, I don't know if he got it or not. But anyway, Adrian said, he, um, you know, he was fiddling and putting his hands on her. And, you know, we us as women, we know when a man wants some of our body. And he wants some of that tutasi, some of that coutine, some of that tro tro. You know, we know when they want it because they try to use reverse psychology on you and give you all the things and the things that you want to hear. You know, so you just say, e open your legs up just like that. But Adrian said, I already know. She already knew what he was aiming for and what he wanted. Hey, go on and let the man go on down in the kitchen to clean up the kitchen, honey. Clean it up. Make sure you put some disinfectant in there. Clean the fuck up. Let him go in there. Clean it up, Adrian. He wanted to get down there in the coudine, the coupage, the, 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 the throw throw. Let him go in down there and clean the damn kitchen out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That thing they call coupage down there in between your legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Oh, that was Gregory wanted. And, uh, hmm. She said that uh, he, when she looked around, he was in the bedroom. She said, come on out that bedroom. Just come on out of there. Just come on out there. Come on in here. You know, come on out the bedroom. And he came out the bedroom. And you know that little, look, look, you know that little couch that she got right there? You know, what you call that, Fuji couch or some shit like that? He came out there and he laid on the couch and he slept right there on the couch. I can, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, 
Mm-mm. And the next thing you know, she said, Oh, just come on in here. Just lay down. Just come on in here. Lay down. Oh, guys, all we did was just lay down and relax. We ain't do nothing. We cuddled up. Great. We were down there. That coupage. He did that coupage. Look at the Look at it. Look at the shanika. He was popping it all down in the coupage. The bike drive. The coupage. Oh, trust and believe he was down there. Oh, believe me. He was down there. He was in the kitchen. He was cleaning it up, honey. He was wiping it down. He, he was yeah, he was doing the things and the things and the things and the things that he wanted to do in the in the coupage and the coutine and the throw it Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know Adrian ain't gonna tell you guys everything. She ain't gonna tell you everything. We don't tell everything. You know what I'm saying? So if he was down there, Adrian, he down there, he was doing the things and the things and the things and the things. Girl, is he good at what he do? Mm-hmm. Cause this here, I'm day like this. <laughs> I'm getting me somebody that's gonna clean my kitchen, honey. But it gotta be the right one to clean my kitchen, honey. Cause I don't wanna pick up anything off the damn street, you know. I wanna be known with somebody that I know that can clean and, and you know can do that thing right and do the thing, you know, you, you, you know, guys get down there and do that thing and, 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 and do it right. You, 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 you get me, you know. But she said that she did not do absolutely anything. Sorry for the light, guys. That's my lamp right there. Sorry for the reflection in, in there. These I got these from Montgomery Ward. They were $99. They have them in all colors. Um, if my living room set wasn't gray, I would have got them in red, but um, I, I didn't want red for the front room. Everything is is gray, black, and white in the front room and off um, an olive green off on the pillows and stuff in my front room. But the kitchen is red, so there was no room for that in the kitchen, so... <clears throat> You know, but anyway, guys, Adrian says that she didn't do anything with the man. Well, you told us that the man was down there eating a shanique. Didn't you tell us that man ate your shanique, Adrian? Yeah, well, you told us. You told us that Gregory was down there eating a shanique, honey. Yeah, you did. That was you told us that he was down there eating a shanique, and then you throw it out. Mm-hmm. So, what makes you think that we don't think that he went down there in, in the kitchen and cleaned it up one more again? Mm. Oh, my. The mice trappings. The mice droppings. Oh, my. Uh, did he overlook that? Or did he did he, did he he eat that up, too? Did you eat that up, too, Gregory? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did you really do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know Gregory went down there in the kitchen to eat that cool day, you know? Mm-hmm. They got a lot of us, honey. Listen. If he know how to do it right, and he know how to do the things and the things and the things, and know how to clean that shiny, that kupanchi, that throw throw out the right way, and, and, and make it feel like it feel, and make it do what it do, baby, let him keep on doing it. But y'all know that, uh, Rob, Adrian State Variety, slash Eureka, slash Nikki, she ain't giving up that through throw for nothing now. Now, I ain't saying that the lady gave him no thrust. I ain't saying that. But uh, I'm sure that if he got in that bed with her, he went down in the kitchen and he cleaned the kitchen up, honey. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he didn't eat, he put it in the refrigerator. You get me? You guys get me what I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. And trust and believe me, <laughs> uh, Gregory, he done gave up some loop, honey, because, uh, listen... Adrian ain't giving up nothing for nothing, honey. You know that thing say, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Hey, you got to have something if you want to be with me. Ooh, disclaimer. Mm. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You got to have something if you want to be with me. Mm-hmm. Y'all already know. Adrian ain't going to give up no cutina, no kupachi, no throwsy for nothing. She going to get her. She going to get hers. Okay? She's going to definitely get hers. But I just came in today to let you guys know that, uh, Ron, what do you think, guys? Do you think, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Disclaimer on the song. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Adrian don't want no ring by that man. She don't want no ring from that man. She don't love that man like that. Because she's still dating, and I, and that's, you know, acceptable. I mean, she's going to date, she's going to date, because like she says, she wants to be reassured that this is what he wants. Don't try to play her. 
you know, just to get some cool party, some cool dinner, some throw draws, you know what I mean? Because Gregory would try harder than the motherfuckers to get that cool dinner. He would try real hard, y'all. He was making up manipulative lies, and he was just, oh, he was just telling her the things and the things and the things and the things and trying to get that cool dinner. And Adrian's sitting there like, mm-hmm, brother, you, you think you taking me for a mother-flipping joke? She better, he better be glad that, that that big girl didn't, you know, she put motherfuckers in a headlock like she said. She, he better be lucky that she didn't grab him around his damn neck and told him, you get your little ass out of my house. You ain't here trying to get you some Kudina, some Trotra. Bro, get your head out of my house. Okay? Just get, get, get on out my house. Because you know what? Your lies is, is uh-uh. Nah, that, 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 I know, baby, you ain't even real what you're saying. Get your ass and get on about my house, you know? Oh, Gregory was trying, baby. He was like, oh, let me sit down because I'm getting, uh, what do you say? I'm getting a little excited. That means that that pangolin was starting to stand up. <laughs> Y'all get me? Mm-hmm. How long can you stand up, brother? You about, what, 65, 66 years old? How long? Now, you got some men 65 and 66 years old. Got some strength up in them things, baby. But uh, Gregory said, ooh, let me sit down because you're getting me excited. Adrian said, yeah, sit on down. Mm-hmm. Gregory wanted some of that tuta. He wanted some of that kupanchi, some of that throatsy, some, some of that kutina, kupanchi. That way he wanted. And uh, I don't know if he got it physically like that, but I sure know that he got it through the kitchen. Mm-hmm. If any woman out there like to, like, to, like to be able to go to the kitchen, honey, leave it in the bottom of the comment, but leave it in a nice way, guys. Don't leave it in a ratchet, raunchy way, because I don't want to get in trouble for this, okay? But Tara, I'm sure that she, uh, I'm sure that she, you know, she let him go down there and she let him, you know, put, put, put a little tongue in there, you know, lick it a little bit and stuff like that. Y'all know she went in and let him put, put a little, little mm-hmm. Put a little drizzle on it. Y'all know she let him go in there. Put a little drizzle. Okay? So, so, guys, you tell me, and you leave it in the bottom of the comment, and you let me know that, <clears throat> do you think that she really loves this man, or is this just a game, or just a um, uh, a view, you know, for views or whatever? And I'm sure it's not for views, but... <clears throat> Do you really think she loves this man? I really sincerely, from my opinion, I think that she doesn't love this man. I just think it's all the, it's just all the game. She doesn't really love this man. To me, that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. You know what I mean? Your opinion is your opinion. Your comment is your comment. But my opinion, I'm sticking to it. I just really don't think that she she's in love with this man. Because, you know, she said that um, Ken is going to be coming in in October. She has a birthday coming up. And um, she said Ken is going to be coming in October. They're going to be going to the Bahamas or something. I think she said they're going to be going to the Bahamas in October or he's going to be um, coming to see her in October. But if you want this man, Mr. Gregory, to put a ring on it, you know what I mean? How can you do that if you become engaged to this man and then you still continuously see the guy Ken? That makes somebody makes makes some sense of this because it's not making sense to me. If this man decides to put a ring on your finger, Adrian. Make it make sense. If he puts a ring on your finger, please make it make sense that are you going to play these mindful games with this man? You know what I mean? Are you going to play these mindful uh, uh, games with this man and just take his engagement and, and, and not take it serious? If that's not what you're ready for, Adrian, don't put your foot in your mouth and do that because we have some 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 men out here that can beat the grace. And Gregory looks like he, he he looks like he really digs you and everything. But um, don't accept that man proposal if you're not ready for that, or if you're just saying that to you know make us to believe that Gregory wants to propose to you, or he you know wants to put a ring on it. And he might it might be as well want to put a ring on it. He may be a a man of of sixty five that's ready to settle down with a woman. But I just don't think that. You are the one for him. Just, just my opinion, because you you like to go out. You're outgoing. You 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 like to date. You you date. You know, variety of men, and and I just don't think that you're really settled and ready for that. Just to be in a relationship with this man, you know what I mean? Don't 
don't play with the man's mind, body, and soul if he's not your chosen option and he's not the one that you want to spend your life with because he is a much older man than you are an older, you know, um, lady. And if he's not the, what you, you, you know, your option or what you want to spend your life with or if you're ready for love, because here's the thing, you know, um, are you ready for love, Adrian? Do you really know how to love? Can you love someone? Can you love a man? You say you love Ken, but, you know, <clears throat> Ken knows who you are. He accepts who you are. He accepts, you know, uh, the things that you do. You know what I mean? You you guys are your ex-boyfriend and girlfriends, and um, you say he tends to get a little bit jealous and intimidated by you. But the thing of it is, is that we're speaking about Mr. Greg. If he is not the chosen one, He's, mind you, he's a dietitian. You know, he works as a dietitian. And um, I don't know if they make good money or whatever their means may be. I don't know if this man is really, you know, really um, dedicated to uh, making you his wife or, or whatever the means may be. But let me just tell you this, honey. Don't, please, that's what you don't do. You don't play with anyone's feelings or emotion or their heart. Because when you play with people's feelings, mind, body, and soul... And you play with their emotion, watch out because that's a dangerous game. It's a dangerous game. And I, my opinion of that is, and don't get me wrong, and I don't have anything, absolutely anything against Adrian. I just, um, just think that, you know, like men could play manipulative mind games with us as well as we could play mind games and manipulative games with them. You know, it goes both ways, you know. But if you're not ready for this, Adrian, don't set yourself up for failure. Don't go stepping into something that you may regret at the end of the day. Because truth be told, I really don't think that you are really um, serious about this. I, I, I just don't think that you're ready for um, a man of his age, a man of his character, because you like to date. You like to um, you go out, you like to go to dinner and stuff like that. So if you're not ready for a situation like this, then don't do it. And another thing you said that Gregory, uh, uh that, uh, Ken is coming. How do you explain that to Greg? How do you explain that to Greg? I mean, even though you don't have to explain it to him because he's not your man, but you were saying also that he was saying something about, you know, confirming you as his girl. And, I think that you said that you was waiting for him to confirm you as his girl. So now what if he confirms you as his woman and you confirm him as your man? Are you still going to date Ken? Are you still going to allow Ken to come all the way over to Florida to visit you? Are you still going to go to the Bahamas with Ken knowing that you and this man is in a committed relationship and knowing that this man is about to propose to you and put a ring on it? Although he was trying to play that mind manipulative game because he wanted some through throughs, some through some cupanchi, some cutina, that that cupanchi. He wanted some of that that night. Mm -hmm. He so did want something. He was working all the maneuvering all around and trying to get to that cupanchi, that cutina, that throws it. Mm -hmm. And you know they tell us things, they tell us things that they know that we want to hear, and we give in. Mm -mm. Baby, don't do it. Don't set yourself up like that. Please don't set yourself up like that because if you get in a committed relationship with this man, and I, you know, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we've been hurt or I've been hurt. I don't know about you've been hurt, but yes, you have been hurt because you've been hurt by Ken. But you and Ken are still the best of friends. You know what I mean? You said Ken tends to get a little bit jealous about, you know, you dating other men and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like... He's your ex, but at some point or another, you still got love in your heart and compassion for him in your heart for Ken. You know what I mean? But in reality, if Mr. Greg becomes your confirmed man and you become his confirmed woman, how does that play itself out when you do videos each and every day, two and three videos each and every day, come up with Greg on the video, then turn around and Ken is there and come up with Ken on the video that cause discrepancy. That would definitely cause discrepancy in that relationship. So, girlfriend, be mindful, cautious, and careful how you conduct yourself in these relationships because things can literally, viciously, maliciously go wrong. Okay? So, guys, on that note, if you guys like this video, please like this video, share this video, thumbs this video up. 
reach over there, hit that notification bell so that you, 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 and you can be notified of all of Anastasia Gerard Davis World's video. And have an amazing, blessed, prosperous day. Stay positive, stay blessed, and keep that peace, guys. Stay out of trouble and let no hurt, harm, and danger come against you. I'll holler at you later. Deuces. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.